Welcome back to TechPress. In today's guide, we're going to be walking through how to connect a hosting domain to your Google Sites website. A custom domain can significantly enhance the professionalism and visibility to your site. A custom domain here, whether you are running a business, hosting a portfolio, or sharing information, this tool will help you to seamlessly integrate a hosting domain with Google Sites. Let's get started. So why connecting a custom domain to Google Sites? Connecting a custom domain to Google Sites gives the website a more memorable URL handle and can help you to branding and CEO. Before we start, make sure you have the domain ready to the hosting your account and a Google site website to set it up. First, let's begin to configuring your domain setting in Hostinger. Log in to your Hostinger account. Once you're here into the list of Hostinger, let's go into domains sections. Here to find the domain you wish to connect and access the DNS settings by clicking into managing. Keep this tab open as you'll need it to switch back and forth between Hostinger and Google Sites. Preparing Google Sites for custom domain. Now let's go to Google Sites dashboard. Click into the setting gear icon. And here, let's navigate to the custom URL and enter your hosting domain. You should see that here have the custom domain. Let's go for a start this setup. Google Sites will then provide you with a specific CNAME record after you typed the domain that you wanted to add. In this case, it will be this one. So I copy it, paste it, and hit into next. Now, here is the CNAME entry. Copy and note down the CNAME record as you will need it to add it to the next step of the Hostinger. Now, updating the DNS setting into Hostinger. Back into the Hostinger account, you want to go into your domains of the DNS settings and add the CNAME record provider by Google Sites. This involves pointing your domain to Google servers. Make sure to enter the details exactly as provided by Google Sites. Here where it says add record. As you can see, I have my CNAME of ghs.google.com as it was created in here. So now let's get into done. Now verify the domain on Google Sites. After updating your DNS settings, it might take some time for the changes to propagate. Once the DNS changes have taken, return to the Google Sites and verify your domain. This step confirms that you're hosting your domain is correctly linked to the Google Sites website. So you're gonna hit down back and hit into published. Now allow up to 48 hours for this site to also be available at taxpressvideos.online. But meanwhile, we can try to publish the web with a Google site domain, which in this case will be site google.com. Let's go for tech express videos. And we're good to go. If the verification fails, you can double check your DNS settings inside hosting up and make sure that you have added the right info. So let's go into copy and linked, paste it into a new tab and wait till this one is actually available. So guys, that is it. You successfully connected your hosting domain to your Google Sites website. This change not only adds a professional touch to your site, but also makes it easier. Website, if you find this tutorial, please uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Express for more web development tips. Have any questions or experience with connecting domains to Google Sites, you can send them into the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck with the new professional branded Google Sites website. Stay tuned for more practical tech guides. See you on the next video.